what led you to write the book? Um, my, the, the, the gray that I live in, I call it. Um, and you know, I've talked, you know, somewhat about this, man. I live in this, it's, um, my depression and anxiety. It's, it's been since I was, it's my earliest memory and it sucks. It's a daily thing. Like every single day I wake up thinking my sky is falling and people think like, Oh man, you're, Rich and famous, like my wallet's not an antidepressant. It doesn't work that way. I have never known how to like, love myself from the inside out. I don't know what that looks like. So I've always had to use, like, go do bigger things on the outside to learn to get love. And you don't really have dudes who talk like this. And I did something a couple of years ago and I started talking about, it. obviously our foundation MVP, you know, emerging vets and players, like I'm an open book there. I open up and I pull my skin back and I talk and I realize, man, like one of the things that helps me be of service, helps me get through the gray to see the blue is being of service. And um, this book is, you know, it, it's for all of us who live in the gray, whether you have, you know, like I have, whether it's clinical, you want to call it clinical depression, anxiety, mental illness, or, or just, you just, go through hard times. I wanted to be this voice for the gray for all of us and show us it's okay not to be okay. It, you, we need to start talking about it. And like, man, football players, like they hurt their knee. They go right to the doctor. But when our hearts hurting, they don't go to the doctor. And this is what we need to work on most. And as our, the world has changed, when this thing came out right here, right? And now all of a sudden we're comparing ourselves to everybody else's filtered fraction of a second in life. We think our lives suck all of a sudden and we see so much hate online. We're not conditioned for that. So I, for me to see the blue, like when I say I wake up in the gray, it's every freaking day and it absolutely sucks. It's terrible. And I never know which version of me I'm going to get every day. And then when I lay my head on my pillow at night, those 15 minutes at night, the worst part of my day because I'm laying down with someone that I don't know how to like or love. And I just think is a, a like not worthy of anything good. So I'm like, you know what, this is, this could help a lot of people. Um, and then recently because I did the book, um, I started kind of journaling uh, on social media in real time. Um, how it looks, how living in the gray looks. And that has helped me cut through the gray a little bit and see the blue, see the reaction. And like, man, being like muscles, this, this is nothing. Like vulnerability is true strength. And if I could be vulnerable with the world and, and especially the dudes out there, not, but it's not just that, at everybody, I think like we all deserve to be happy and not live in the gray and not let that monster win and keep that monster in the box. And it's a harder world to do that in nowadays. So that's why I wrote it. I, they, they came to me about it. And I've always been like, no, 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 especially like this. But I pulled my skin back. And in the book, I explain what living in the gray looks like through a conversation that I had with Sean McVeigh, who, who didn't really understand it. And he, he let me redo the, the conversation. And he's like, wait, so you, like, you wake up every day depressed? I'm like, yeah. He's like, why? I'm like, because I have depression. He's like, I know, thanks. <laughs> but I was like, Sean, think how much better of a coach you'll be if you can understand the darkness that leads your players to put a helmet on and smash themselves into people over and over and over and over. Or for you and your coaches to work 20-hour days or for somebody like me who steps in a cage with a Randy Couture or Chuck Liddell and gets punched in my face, like, like we're, we're off. We got to be off to, to do what we do here. And, you know, I, I, I just thought it was a great way for me to be of service to people, man. And, and, um, and I'm proud. And the, the crazy stuff is my gray. Like I have 12 days, the 25th is when it, it's launch date. And in my mind, my world's going to come crashing down in the next 12 days. Like I'm trying to keep it together and not cry as I'm talking to you. It's that hard for me. Every day, every time something good happens, I feel so unworthy anything good ever happened to me. And, um, yeah, to have this come out, man, where I, if I've already had people tell me that they were going to, um, from my posts, um, they were going to turn to suicide. And because of these posts, 
they've uh, here I go. <laughs> they've decided to get help. Is uh, man, that's that's why I wrote the book. Well, I I appreciate your friendship because you yeah. know I went through a dark time, and you reached out to me, and you just said you're here. You know, you were here for me. So I'm right, dude. Never forget. I'm right. Yep. That's why, man. We got like, man. We need our teams and these bonds that we have, right? These brotherhoods. We can't do it alone. And uh, I, I wanted to make sure that you knew you had a, a battle buddy who was walking this walk with you, dude. And you've always been there for me, man. So I, I had to be there for you. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate your time. Love you. Good luck I with the book. That. Thank you, man. That's Jay Thank Glazer. You. Unbreakable, how I turned my depression and anxiety into motivation, and you can too. Yeah, when I mentioned what I was going through, and I got through with that, got off the air in the first person, uh, one of the first people I heard from was Jay. And he said, you want to talk? I'm here. I know what this is all about. And uh, we've had subsequent conversations. He and Dan Lebitard have uh, stayed with me in contact with me with that topic, uh, among other things. But, uh, you know, it's uh, you want to rely on some people. And uh, not that I don't have people to rely on, but when you get some people who are in the business with you and they reach out and they're just a person. Uh, so very appreciative of uh, those who did.